Hi, my name is Paul Greenberg. I'm a language enthusiast from Toronto on an amazing journey with Anish Nabimuan. Hi, I'm Isidore Toulouse, uh, also known as Niswe Andeguk in my Anishinaabe name, um, which means three crows. And I am a specialist in Anishinaabe for the last 40 years. We decided to create Paul and Isidore Living Anishinaabe to share our ongoing dialogue about and in the language with you all. We release episodes regularly and we hope that you enjoy watching it as much as we enjoy making it. If you think that what we are doing is worthwhile and should be seen by others, please hit the like button below. That's how we get seen. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the exciting things we have in store, please be sure to subscribe below. Make sure to turn notifications on so that you will know when we upload a new episode. Kachi miigwech. Welcome to Paul and Isidore Living Anishinaabemowin, episode 20. Nishtana. Yeah, Nishtana, Shtataha. Ani Isidore, Anishinaagege. Apjugo, Gwetana Nishin, Gindash Paul, Anishinaagege. Ah, Nishin, Miigwech, Nongwa. Gichi Odenam, Nongwa Bangi Nguankot, Nguankot, Shwe Gijok Miga, Gijok Miga, Gijok Miga, it's warm, Gijuamagad, Gijuamagad, Gijuamagad. Okay, so let me try that again. Nongwa Bangi Nguankot. Shui Gish Gishu Wamagad Gishu Wamagad. Eh, gotta write that down. Chinodin Chinodin Ah, eh, Chinodin Big Wind Eh, Chinodin Eh, Gitinodin Eh, Gainin Gainin Wig Wok Chinodin Gishu Wamagad mean Wok Chinodin Ah Zaga te shwigo, zaga te, the sun is shining. Okay. Kawi ngon kud snu. Okay, so it's not cloudy. Okay, kawi ngon kud snu. Okay. So, uh, episode 20, we've uh, we've come a long way since we started. We certainly have. Um, we have a really exciting and interesting episode today, uh, which I'm excited to get into. Um, just a couple of things that are important. We uh, are at 275 subscribers, as it are, which is pretty cool. But I want to get us to 300. So if you're right. watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, it's so easy. Just hit the button there right now and tell other people you know who might be interested to hit the button as well. And then they can be updated when we have new content. Um, and of course, uh, like and, and comment. And uh, speaking of comment, we actually have a user uh, comment that we, uh, we will we'll, uh, look at today, which um, I'll just pull up right now. So this is um, from Philip uh, Koto on YouTube. Uh, he said, uh, thanks for adding the subtitles to the greetings. Small talk is always uh, high on my priority list when learning a language. I speak a few languages. And my most recent one was Japanese, uh, which is interesting because I, I also speak Japanese, which I think is why he, uh, why he mentioned it. Um, and then, uh, so how did he do on the Anishinaabe one there? Well, he says Nungo Ekonija Bubungok. So these last two years, Nin Gage Nita Anishinaabe Win. That mm -hmm. one he needed to cut, he forgot to uh, negative, to make the negative. Kawi, like Gega Nita. He says, I'm almost if a good speaker. Nin Gega Nita Anishinaabe Win. Mm -hmm. So you don't need the win. Nin gega nita nishnabem is where he needs to end the sentence. Okay, so he could say nin gage nita nishnabem, right? Oh, gagwe, gagwe, gagwe nita nishnabem. I don't know if he's saying I don't speak the language well, mm -hmm. or he, he needs to say gagwe nita nishnabem, see. Okay, so can you do that slowly, just for Philippe, and then we can uh, put that up on the subtitles as well? Oh, sure. Nin 
Gagwa Nita Nishnabim C, I think is what he's trying to say. Okay. He's and saying, so, no, uh, no, I do not speak the language well. Okay. Okay. So, Philippe, if that helps, great. And if that's not what you're trying to say, let us know in the comments and we'll, we'll uh, take out. We'll fix time. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then he goes on to say, Paul, uh, have you noticed the similarities between Japanese and the language that helps somewhat in overcoming the hump? that Anglophones might encounter when learning the language. The question particle, uh, particle na, for example, was intuitive for me. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Gachi uh, Isidore and Paul, this series is great. Um, okay, so first of all, thank you for the comment, Philippe, and also thank you for uh, your compliment of what we're doing. It's always nice when uh, people let us know that they're enjoying it. Um, about the Japanese, um, I was actually talking to Isidore about this earlier, that on the one hand, yes, there's no question that Japanese and Anishinaabe one are more similar than English and Anishinaabe one. So there's certain things that have definitely helped uh, knowing Japanese. Uh, the the na particle is a great example. So in Japanese, there's the word uh, ka, which goes at the end of the sentence when you're asking a question. So it's used in a similar way. Not exactly, has slightly different usage, but the basic idea is the same. Um, and then probably the other um, I mean, I mean, there, there's a few other things that are interesting and, and similar and helpful. Um, one of them is how verb-centered Japanese is in a similar way to Anishinaabemowin, but I want to say nowhere near the level of Anishinaabemowin. So it's more verb-centered than English, and that helps, but nowhere near the level of Anishinaabemowin. We're actually going to get into that today. But as an example, a really simple example, uh, we've been looking, uh, Isidore, at verbs, our action verbs, and how if we add prefixes and suffixes, we can kind of quite dramatically change the meaning of what you're saying um, just around that verb word. And in Japanese, you have the example uh, kiku, which is to ask. Um, and then you have, for example, if you were to say to be asked would be kikareru, to make someone asked would be kisaseru, if you wanted to say could ask, it would be kikeru. If you were going to say let's ask, it would be kiko. So the point is around that kiku thing, you're just changing the ending and it changes the whole form of the word. However, that's a small example. What I'm realizing now is that that similarity helped me up to a point, maybe about a year ago. And then I had to take off the training wheels and start to realize that this Anishinaabemowin is a completely separate language. And I've got to just leave Japanese behind and look at Anishinaabemowin on its own terms because it is quite different. Um, and those things, like as Philip says, get you over a bit of a hump, but that's about it. Then you have to kind of let it go and and just immerse yourself in the language for for, for what it is. Um, okay, unless, Israel, you wanted to add anything to Philip's comment? Um, uh, uh, it's, it's way beyond me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, Philip, hopefully that was helpful. And uh, let us know in the comment on, on this video if you can. Um, and uh, without further ado, let's uh, dive in today's, uh, in, into today's um, session. So uh, what we're going to look at today is uh, called the conjunct order. So that's just a fancy term uh, to describe um, I don't know if you'd call it a tense or a form. Sometimes I think it's called a C form. But the main point in simple terms, and what I find personally more than getting into the sort of the technicalities of the grammar, is just to understand, okay, what is it? What does it do? And this is basically a form of the verb that you use when you're asking questions, when you're talking about um, something that may be not certain, um, and other examples, and I think the best thing to do is just to try and see where you find it and see if you can figure out the pattern. So we'll, we'll look at some examples today and see if, uh, if this can help. I will say this is one of the episodes I've really been looking forward to because this is a form that I've seen a lot, I've heard a lot, but I've never quite understood it. Um, and so preparing for this with you was really eye-opening for me. So before we dive in, let's uh, do a quick review of our jichike wanan, is it, or our action words. And then these are what we're going to use to look at this uh, this conjunct order. So I'll uh, hand it over to you. All right. So we have mba, mba, he or she is sleeping. Okay. Jibakwe, jibakwe. 
she or he is cooking. Bimipto, bimipto, he or she is running. Okay. Uisine, uisine, she or he is eating. Kinomage, kinomage, he or she is teaching. Bimose, bimose, she or he is walking. Okay. Odawe, Odawe, he or she is selling. Okay. Ja, Ja, she or he is going. Binchige, Binchige, he or she is cleaning up. Okay, the last one. And Gigado. Gigido, he or she is speaking. Okay, perfect. So we have our, our uh, 10 action words. Um, let's look at the conjunct order for Mba. Oh, actually, sorry. First, let's talk about the conjunct order, what it is. So um, basic idea, and I'll, I'll let you explain this a little bit. If my understanding is as we said, WH questions, so like who, what, where, when, why, but also other contexts as we mentioned and we're gonna see, um, we change the ending of the verb and it follows a pretty consistent pattern, right? Right. So um, maybe if you could just pronounce these, that would be helpful. All right, so the ending, yaw, yaw, that makes it me, I, past tense, yaw. Mm -hmm. Yin would make it you, yin, talking about you singular. Mm -hmm. The D by itself, we're talking about him or her. Mm -hmm. Yang makes it we, excluding who you're speaking to. Mm -hmm. Yang. Ying is you and I, inclusive, everyone in the group. Ying. Mm -hmm. Yik would make it you guys, all of you, not mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Yik. And then the wad is them, they, those people. Okay. Wad. So I just want to make sure you said past tense, but this is, is this past tense or? Oh, no, 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 no. no. I, I shouldn't have said past yeah. tense. Okay, is, okay. Um, just yeah. wanted to make sure because then I was realizing, oh my God, I've got to redo all of our materials if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So th let's look at Imba um, and we can we can put that pattern into uh, to action. All right. So when we, when we say when we say uh, the word nba nba being the verb, mm -hmm. when we say p nbayan, that becomes when I sleep. Mm -hmm. P nbayan. Then you would continue with that with ndo minoya. I am well. P nbayan. I'm really rested. Ndo minonweb. P nbayan. Okay. And and this we've we've done P when as one example, but you could as I think you were telling me earlier, we could for example use Gishpin. You could also bayan. use Gishpin, yeah. Gishpin right. Baya if I sleep. Okay. Yeah. And and then other other examples which we'll see. Other examples well. would also yeah. fit under that, yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's go forward then. And then we have P Nabayin. When you sleep. P Nabayin. P in the bad, P in bad, when she or he sleeps. P in the bayang, P in the bayang, when we sleep, excluding who you're speaking to. P in the buying, P in the buying, when you and I, we sleep, okay. inclusive. Pi na baig when you guys sleep, not me. Pi na baig when you guys, you plural sleep, mm -hmm. and pi na bawad when they sleep. Pi na bawad. Okay, so now the exciting part. I'm going to try my uh, sample sentence. Now I've got a, a sample sentence for each of them that I want to try with you. Um, I will say that I decided to start simple with this one. So I'm hoping, really hoping this one is correct, but uh, but as I say, it's pretty simple. So let me uh, let me try this one. So 
Nabayina No? Uh, Nabayin na does hmm. not fit in. Um, but so do you know what I'm trying to say? You're you're trying to say you're trying to sleep. No, I'm trying to say, are you sleeping? Oh, Nabayin na. Okay, no, that would be Giniba na. Giniba na. Hey, are you sleeping? Ginibana. Okay, so it's not just, it's not just, I see, okay. Uh, uh, okay, so that would just be the regular present tense then. Yes. Right, Th that we've already done. Okay. Um, so, okay, all right. So, so maybe um, let's try a simple sentence that would use this form of uh, neba. Uh, pi nebayin. Uh, P in the buy-in, Gado Mdoejan in Guam, Gado Mdoejan in Guam, meaning when you sleep, mm -hmm. you snore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you like that one? I like that one, yeah. Uh, so, okay. Gado, Gado mm -hmm. makes it you do this, whatever this action is. Your Josh, your nose makes those noises. So, so it's the idea then that this is happening while something else is happening. Then you right. use this right, right, right? Yeah. while you're sleeping. Got it. Okay. Uh, all right. Good. Shall we go to the next one? Sure. Actually, well, actually, oh. let's do let's do the same example for every one of these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I sleep, I snore. Mm -hmm. You snore. Mm -hmm. He or she snores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They snore. Okay. And what's cool about this is I actually followed that whole thing because we recently did an episode on the present tense. Right. Covered covered that whole form that you did for, for snoring. So if you want to check that video out, check that and then come back to this one. Um, okay, awesome. All right. So should we go to the next one? Sure. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do Jibakwe. All right. So P Jibakwe yon. P Jibakwe yon. When I cook. Okay. P Jibakwe yin. P Jibakwe yin. When you cook. Mm hmm. P G Bakwed. P G Bakwed. When she or he cooks. P G Bakwe Young. P G Bakwe Young. When we cook, excluding who you're speaking to. Mm -hmm. P G Bakwe Ying. P G Bakwe Ying. When we cook, inclusive, including everybody. Mm -hmm. P G Bakwe Yig. When you all cook, you plural. PG Bakweig. PG Bakwewad. PG Bakwewad. When they cook. Okay. Sample sentence two. <laughs> all right. So this one. Gishpin Jibakweyin Ngawisin. Eh, Nishin. Gishpin Jibakweyin. Very nishin, nishin. Okay, so just to make sure that it's very nishin, can you tell me what I said? Because I hope it's what I tried to say. <laughs> <laughs> if you cook, I will eat. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's go to uh, Bimipto. All right. P Bimipto, ya. P Bimipto, ya. When I run. P bimipto yin. 
P bimipto yin. When you run. P bimiptoed. P bimiptoed. When he or she runs. P bimipto young. P bimipto young. When we run. Exclusive. P bimipto ying. P bimipto ying. When we run. Okay. And that's including who you're talking to? Inclusive, yes. And P bimipto yik. When you guys run. Mm -hmm. You plural. And P bimipto odd. When they run. Okay. So this one. I'm pretty sure I got wrong, but I'm going to try this. And again, hopefully you understand. And then you can help me figure out how to say right. actually what it is I'm trying to say. So, um, P bimipto wad. Uh, actually, sorry, let me try this again. P bimipto yik ka wisine wag si. Ka. Is what I but but I I I know that's wrong, but but do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? We will not eat when they run. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say, let, let, let me first of all, I'll say it again because I, I mixed it up a bit there. So what I'm trying to say is, pi bimipto yig ka. So what, what I'm basically trying to say is when you plural eat, uh, sorry, when you plural run, don't eat. Ah. Don't, 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 don't eat while you run, basically. In, okay, first of all, to... your C has to come right after the verb. Okay. So, we sinim C, it's we sinisim. Okay. But... That doesn't fit in there. Okay. What was the word again? So, so uh, keep bimipto yig, actually. Oh, p bimipto yig. All right. P yeah. bimipto yeah. yig. Gawi kawi sinisim. Gawi gawi kawi sinisim. Okay. Okay. When All right. you run, don't eat. Okay. Understood. So, so, so the, okay. And, and by the way, we're going to have a, an episode on negative negation coming up. All right. So we'll explain the details of this, but, but understood. So the, the, the ka we si or ka si, right, is what makes it negative. But then you're saying the si has to come right after the verb. Right. And then, and then whatever suffix after will come after that. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. 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 Let, let me do this one here. See if you can yeah. get this one. Okay. Paul. P bimipto yin. Gdo kwezen sabato. P bimipto yin. Paul. Gdo kwezen sabato. Gdo kwezen Okay. So, well, okay. So, first of all, I got obviously got the first part, which is when you run. Yeah, Paul, when you run. Quesens. Quesens? Isn't Quesens uh, like a boy? No, that's uh, Guiozens. Oh, Guiozens. Okay. Uh, oh, girl. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, sorry. Say it again. Gdo Quesens Bato. Bato. Oh, don't, don't run like a girl or something? No. No. Don't... Gdo Quesens Bato. Paul, when you run, you run like a girl. Oh, you run like a girl. Okay. Sorry. Can you say that again? Paul, Pibimiptoyen. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you try one more? A different one? Yeah. All right. Um P bimipto yon up j we web de equus. Up j we web de equus. Okay, I'm guessing, this is just guessing by context here, but something like when I run, 
I'm very tired or very exhausted or something. Yeah, I get tired very quickly. Wait, get, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. So can you say the whole thing again slowly? Okay, so web is, is quickly. Web would be something fast, quick. Fast. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, is very, right? Yeah, apage is very much so. Okay, very much so. Okay. So, so is in de, in de is uh, is tired basically, or yeah, my heart, my heart is oh, tired. Okay, okay. De so, e. In de e course. Okay. So what I'm curious is, is it is it the apage? Is it apage in de course, or is it apage uh, where we like like what is the apage going with? Is it going with the very quickly or very tired? Uh, very much so, more or less. Oh, for the whole thing, quickly. Yeah, for the whole thing. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go to the next one. All right. P. Wisnea. P. Wisnea. When I eat. Okay. P. Wisnein. P. We sneen when you eat. P. We sneed. P. We sneed. When, when she or he eats. P. We sneeang. P. We sneeang. When we eat, excluding who you're speaking to. P. We sneeing. When we eat, inclusive. Okay. Pee wee snee when you guys eat, you all, plural. Mm -hmm. And pee wee snewad, pee wee snewad, when they eat. Okay, so let me try this one. Pee wee snee young, get and get you in the Eh, eh, we are so happy when we eat. Okay, perfect. Hey, you in the mame. Okay, can, can you can you actually can you say the whole thing? What I tried to say? Eh, pee wee sine young in kitchen in the mame. In kitchen in the mame. And kitchen in the mame. Okay. Pee wee sine young in kitchen in the mame. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let me try one on you. Okay. Pee gokush we sinned. Toga nun. Where we to get in one? People push we snid. Toaganan, where we to get in one? Okay, so uh, when they eat pork. Nope. Okay, wait. People okay. push we snid. Oh, okay, okay. When the pig eats. Right. Okay, right. okay, okay. So can you say the whole thing again? People push we snid. Yes. Toaganan. We whip to a guess in one. We whip to a guess in one. Okay. So, people push we snid. We whip to a guess in one toganan. Okay. Um, just from your action, I'm guessing when the pig eats, his head is moving a lot or something. His ears are flopping. His ears are flopping. Okay. Yeah. When a pig eats, his ears, fl his ears flop. Okay. Okay, so can you do that once more slowly? P P go kosh with sinid. Oh, do it once more or say it once more? <laughs> no, 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 say it once more. P go kosh with sinid. Toa ganan we we toge sin one. We we toge sin one, meaning they're moving fast. Okay. We we. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. Let's uh, let's keep going. This is fun. This All right. Is fun. Um, okay, so we have Kinomage, P Kinomage ya, P Kinomage ya, when I teach, P Kinomage in, P Kinomage in, when you teach, P Kinomage, P Kinomage, when she or he teaches, P Kinomage young, P Kinomage young. When we teach exclusive, excluding who you're speaking to, mm -hmm. P kinomage ying, P kinomage ying, 
when we teach inclusive. Pikinomage yig when you guys teach, all of you, plural. And pikinomage wad when they teach. Okay. Um, all right. So this is one where I believe this is actually something we're going to cover in an upcoming episode, which we haven't done yet. So therefore, I'm pretty sure it's wrong. But let me try this. <laughs> so, win uh, ki win kenomage yin in sastan. So I think you're trying to say when you teach, I understand. Well, what I'm trying to say is actually when you teach her or him, she or he understands. Ooh. Um, so, so that's why when I said "win," I thought that would mean he or she, right? And then I said "kenomage yin," you're teaching, but but this is the thing we're going to cover, which is you do something to her, mm -hmm. which is which is, I know is a different form of the it's verb. a whole different it's, it's a, whole a whole different, different thing form yeah. of conjugating. Yeah, exactly. Which, which so the answer would be for that one. Mm -hmm. What was it in English again? So if you teach her, she understands. Gishpin kinomod wa. Gishpin kinomod wa. If you teach her, mm -hmm. um, she understands. Nistatan. Nistatan. Gishpin kinomod wa. Nistatan. Okay. All right. So we're going to cover that in a, in a in an episode coming up soon. But let's let's try one with uh, with this form. So, are there any that you could try on, on me? Uh, sure. Um, P. Kinomage, Anishinaabe, Mwin. Gawi Uwoya, Nista Taxi. P. Kinomage, Anishinaabe, Mwin. Gawi Uwoya, Nista Taxi. Okay, I'm guessing I this this I didn't get every word, but I think the basic thing you're saying is when I teach Anishnabenwin, they don't understand. Yes, God, we right? witness the taxi. They don't understand me. They understand me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Gawin Woya. Nobody yeah. understands me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, there's so many. There's so many different words that you can, uh, like this could, could be an endless series. I know. I know. This is why it's so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Should we go to the next one? Sure. Okay. All right. P bemaseya. P bemaseya. When I walk. P bemaseyin. P bemaseyin. When you walk. Piba said, Piba said, when he or she walks, mm -hmm. Piba must say young, Piba must say young, when we walk, excluding who you're speaking to, mm -hmm. Piba must say ying, Piba must say when we walk, you and I inclusive, Piba must say yig, when all of you walk, you guys, you plural, Piba must mm -hmm. say yig. And People must say what? People must say what? When they walk. Okay. So uh, let me try this one. P bemose yang benese ingi wabundan. Say that again. Okay. P bemose yang benese. Ngi wabendam. Benesi is an animate object, so you would need ngi wabma. Okay, that's what I thought. And actually, I highlighted it, and I could only find the way to say C for inanimate, and I couldn't find for for animate. So I knew that okay. one was wrong. Okay, so so can you say the whole thing then? P bemaseya mm -hmm. benesi ngi wabma. Okay, so P bemaseya. Beneshi ingi wabma. Hi. Okay. All right. Um, anyone that you want to try? Sure. Um, P 
Shi on deg bamosed miknong Jichi bagadese. Okay, okay, so say it again. P on deg bamosed miknong Jichi bagadese. Okay, so if I got, is the first part something like when the crow is walking? Where? Okay, so okay, so can you say it again? P P on deg bamosed miknong Chichi bagadese. Mikanang. Okay. Mikan. Mikanang. Mikan. Mi Mikan. Is it is Mikan like a lake? No. No, or a pond or something? A river? No. No. Ah. Ah. Okay. Me on deg said Mikanang. When a crow walks on the road. On the road. Okay. Okay. Mikanang. Okay. Chichi bagade se. Chichi bagade se means he walks with a um um like like a like a teeter totter type of thing. Okay. 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 All right. So can you say that one more time slowly? P on dig the mosed mikanong. Chichi bagade se. Okay. Chichi bagade se. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. All right. Odawe. P Odawe yon. P Odawe yon. When I sell. P Odawe yin. P Odawe yin. When you sell. P Odawe. P Odawe. When she or he sells. P O Dawe Young. P O Dawe Young. When we sell, excluding who you're speaking to. P O Dawe Ying, inclusive, inclusive. All right. When mm -hmm. we sell, P O Dawe Ying. P O Dawe Yig. When you guys sell, all of you. Mm -hmm. Plural. And P O Dawe Wad. When they sell. Okay, so my sentence. Um, P. Oh, no, actually, sorry. Let me let me do this differently. Gishpin, ginwe endat o dawe ying, ge gizime. Any any idea what I'm trying to say there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're trying to say. You're saying if we sell our house. Yeah. But you're saying Gishpin Ginwe and Dot. And Dot is his or her place. Okay. So you need to say Gishpin Udawe Ying and Ying if we sell our place. Okay. Okay. So Gishpin, do, do I need Ginwe or not? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can you can use Ginwe if okay. we. Okay. So Gishpin Ginwe Udawe Ying. Okay, Gishpin Ginwe Odawe Ying. And dying. And dying. Yeah, because you're talking about you and your wife, right? Okay. You and your okay. partner. Okay, and then can I say Ge Gizeme? Uh, that one I didn't understand. So I, I, I thought Gize, GZI, was to move, like to move to another location or another residence. Oh, Ge Gizeme. Hmm, I've never heard that. So how how would you say that if you were gonna say we can move basically if we ga, sell our ga anji me ga anji me eh ga anji me okay so I could so just to put the whole thing together can I say gishpin ginwe odawa ying enda ying ga anji me ka ka anji me eh we will move ka anji me okay eh okay cool. Let's go to the next one. Ja, pijayan. When I go, pijayin. When you go, pijad. 
when he or she goes. Pijayong, when we go, excluding who you're speaking to. Pijayong, when we go, inclusive, every, you and I. Mm -hmm. Pijayig, when you guys go, all of you, plural. Mm -hmm. And Pijawad, when they go. Okay. All right. So uh, my next uh, shot here is, um, and, and this is actually to you, uh, Isidore. Okay. Uh -huh. th th this is a very personal statement to you. <laughs> okay. Gish bin ja yin nga mbode wenda. Ooh. But this means that I'm going somewhere. Okay. Gishpin Jai in Florida, Gun Bodewendam. Okay. If you go to Florida, I will get lonely. Okay. But but you're saying it, I can't say it without saying where you're going? Is that what you mean? Yeah. So, so this I, I, one has to be a place where you're going. Okay. Is there, just out of curiosity, if there's a way just to say, if you leave or if you go, I will be lonely? Gish bin nimajayin. Okay. Nimajayin ngan bodewendam. If you leave, I'll get, I'll get lonely. Okay, got it. So ja has to be going somewhere, some, to, to some a place. particular location, yes. Location, okay. Okay, all right, so I can say... Uh, okay, so can can you say the whole thing? For example, if you were to say to Florida, I would just say that. Oh, Gishpin, Gishpin. Oh, wait. Oh, Gishpin Jai in Florida. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you, have, if you were to if you were to say Gishpin Jianjian, if you move to Florida, mm -hmm. Gishpin Jianjian in Florida. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one, I'm just going to Florida. I'll, I'll eventually be back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so just a question: When you use Florida, like a you know a non anishinaabe word like that, can you just say Florida, or do you need to say like Florida ing or something like that to like to make it to Florida? Uh, or, 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 or or is that strange? Yeah, that would be strange. It would I would just use Florida just on its own. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I could say Gishpin, Florida Jayin. Inga mbode wendam. Eh, yeah. East from Florida, Jai, inga mbode wendam. Okay. Eh. Okay, cool. All right, we have binchige. All right. P binchige yon. When I clean up. P binchige yon. When you clean up. P binchige When he or she cleans up. Pi bin chige yang. When we clean up, excluding who you're speaking to. Pi bin chige ying. When we clean up, inclusive. Pi bin chige yig. When you all, plural, clean up. And pi bin chige wad. When they clean up. Okay. All right. So I decided to get a little more adventurous with this one. Ooh. So, so let's see if this actually uh, if this makes sense. So, um, P Ginwe Enda Ying Ga Binchige Yang Gete Mezinchigan Ingi Mekoana Nanig. Yes, when we cleaned up at our place, we found some old photographs. Yes. But there's something there. Say that again. Okay. The whole thing? Yes. Okay. Ki ginwe enda ying ga bin chige yang. Ga bin chige ying. Oh, well, actually, so so I was thinking of this uh, exclusive. Oh, okay. Is, is what I was intending. But okay, we could do it. We could yeah, do it. But, but you're saying ginwe as in you and I. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so it has to be inclusive. Okay. All right, so let me try this again then. So, P ginwe enda ying 
ga binchige ying gete mesinchigan in gi mikowanan nanik. Mikowa nanik, sorry. Ki, because you and I found them. Oh, ki. Ki mikowa nanik. Ki mikowa nanik. Okay. But if you were to say you're talking to me and you and your 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 spouse were cleaning up at your house, you found mm -hmm. pictures, you would say P Gabin Chige Yang Enda Yang Ketem Zinchignangim Kuananig. So that's excluding you. Right. Got it. Got it. Uh okay. All right. Let's uh let's look at Gigado. When I talk, when I talk, when you talk, when he or she talks, when we talk, excluding who you're speaking to, when when we talk inclusive pigig do yig pigig do yig when you all talk plural and pigig do wad pigig do wad when they talk okay so last uh, last sample sentence of the episode i've got my fingers crossed for this one um P gigdo wad, gchi baba pe wad. Gchi baba pe wog. Wog, of course. Ah, I knew that too. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. All right. So let, let me try that again. P gigdo wad, gchi baba baba pe wog. Eh, P gigdo wad, gchi baba pe wog. Okay. Let so, me try so, one on you. Okay. Sorry. This just make sure. So the, what I'm trying to say there is when they talk, they laugh a lot, right? Yes. Okay, okay. So go ahead. P Paul Gigdod Mi go et enundma blah blah blah. Okay, I'm guessing you're saying something like when Paul talks, it sounds like blah blah blah. Mi go et go nundma. All I hear is oh, all blah, blah, blah. All I hear, blah, all blah, I hear blah. is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> or like oh. that Charlie Brown one. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, on that note, we are done with this episode 20. Uh, very, very cool. As I said, this is uh, something I've been trying to get my head around for a while, but I feel like like you've, you've enlightened me and started to kind of make it uh, a little clearer. And uh, we've got some really cool stuff coming up in uh, episodes uh, in the near future. And before we go, let's do yeah. let's do it. Let's do the gi spin on this one instead okay. of p. Okay, sure. Okay, so gi spin gig do yang. If I talk, gi spin gig do yin. If you talk, gi spin gig dud. If he or she talks, gi spin gig do yang. If we talk, mm -hmm. if we talk, you and I, mm -hmm. if you guys talk, mm -hmm. if they talk, mm -hmm. okay. Is it all? all right? Paul. And uh, uh -huh. if you enjoyed this video and think that others should see it, please hit the like button below. All likes help us get seen by others. And of course, be sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all new episodes. Make sure to turn notifications on so that you will know when we upload a new episode. Gucci miigwech.